I have always been told I can't run. I know I'm not going to be fast. Uh, I know that I'm not going to win. I think I'm going to really struggle. If I'm honest with myself, I think it's going to be maybe harder than I want to admit. It's just freeing. It's freeing to do something that people tell you is impossible to prove that you can do this like super hard thing. I think that success for me is just doing it. Hey everyone, hope you guys are having a good day. Smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, turn on notifications so you don't miss any fun entertainment. Today, we are going to be talking about glitter and lasers, aka Anna. The video that I'm talking about is of Anna quote unquote running a 5k, but she ended up turning the video more into a documentary style video. Anna shows us the training process behind the scenes before the run. The problem that I noticed first and wanted to talk about is honesty. She calls herself plus size, which is false information, inaccurate. She is obese. And once you can recognize the truth, you can slowly start to heal. No one likes the word obese, so she should be motivated by calling herself obese. So then, when she takes control of her health, loses the weight, and gets down to call herself plus size, she would feel and look a lot better. Being truthful and honest is the first steps to recovery and healing. So in the beginning of the video, Anna talks about people saying that she can't run and she can't do this and she can't do that. She's trying to make people feel bad for her, feel sorry for her. She did this to herself. She made herself obese. People who are telling her she can't run are just being honest and not being mean. The reason why they are telling her she can't run is because of her size. She will hurt herself because the human body is never meant to be that big and carrying so much weight. I think it's very, very sad that these people on the internet who are obese are trying to normalize it and trying to act like they're healthy and pretend that being unhealthy is okay and that it's being obese is beautiful. There's nothing beautiful about being obese. I'm not fat shaming anyone and it's very sad that people don't love themselves, but we need to stop trying to normalize being unhealthy. Stop praising people for being obese because it's not cute and it's not funny. Your life matters and what people are doing to themselves is not okay. She makes all these videos like promoting junk food and saying how delicious it is. Then she cooks vegetables and says how crap it is. It's almost like it's orchestrated. You know what I mean? It's like she's been hired to be a shill against fruits and vegetables. I don't ever see her eating fruit. I don't ever see her eating fruit or anything. One time she eats whole food well, it's cooked, so it's not actually a whole food, but the one time she eats vegetables, she disses them. And then she's running, she's running in the supermarket. They always have her running looking so energetic. This is not how it is when you're morbidly obese. I mean, I don't even have to be that size to know that this is not the reality that morbid obese individuals are facing daily. This is not their reality. They're not running around all happy and joyful and like, it's just crazy. And more exercising here. Anna, don't do these exercises. Just change your diet. Weight will fall off, okay? But you need a diet that you're going to feel satisfied on. You're going to be fully satisfied. You need that. Otherwise, you're just going to keep going back to the drug-infused foods, these non-foods, these chemically engineered foods that you've been, that you built your body on. Your body is built on that. So that's why she has to do a high-carbohydrate plant-based diet. It has to be the way. You know, otherwise she's just going to stay in this loop forever, this drug loop. You know, you can see. And if she does these exercises, she's going to ruin her her joints, okay? She's going to be in a wheelchair before you know it. She's heading there, I'm telling you. You know, people can do these kind of like movements just quickly. You know, it's like a 10-second TikTok or something. Of course, you can look energetic for that long, right? 
But the aftermath can be quite damaging. Those little movements, explosive type movements, bad, bad, bad. In the video, she talks a lot about having a knee injury. If she has a knee injury, the worst thing that she can do is to try to run. Running will only make it worse especially at her size, she needs to do other exercises. There are a lot better exercises, things that she can do to have fun and try to lose weight, try to do other activities like walking. Walking is the ideal low impact exercise and improves lower body strength and mobility. But also if you watched her video, then you will notice that she power walks. What she calls it is running. There are a couple of parts in the video that show her running, but that's it. She's mainly power walking and there's no problem with that. But at least she is trying to move her body. But running is not okay if you have a old knee injury. Swimming is perhaps the best cardio exercise because it's very light on your body. I would say especially at her size, she needs to swim. She needs to get into a pool and run laps. Another really good one that I would suggest is strength training to help build muscle mass and over time it will help with the weight loss. She also needs to take better control of her diet. It all starts with diet. Now, a couple years ago, back in 2016, I did a three week juice cleanse and I felt absolutely amazing. I felt so incredible. And then the fourth week, I did, I incorporated salad, but I kept on juicing also. And the fifth week, that's when I started eating a regular plant-based diet. I had so much energy, I felt amazing. I highly recommend a plant-based diet. And no, I'm not vegan. I'm now not on a plant-based diet. That was just what I did for myself at the time because I was really, really struggling and not healthy. So I wanted to try it. I've seen other people on the internet talk about what it's like for them on a plant-based diet. So I just wanted to try it for myself. So I have this knee injury um, that I am working through. And we got about, I guess this is about two and a quarter in, and I'm just starting to have some pain. Uh, the way they told me is to keep going if it's below a four. So I'm right on that border right now and I'm trying to call it. I'm gonna try to stretch my leg out a little bit um, as I did earlier and it kind of helped and see if I can uh, get the pain to go away a little bit. So what I've done, is I'm just trying to do the tiniest steps in the most perfect form so that it hurts the least. So it's really slow, but I think it's the safest way for me to get back to the car, which is still about a quarter of a mile away. But first using this step up exercise. This would help take pressure off of my knee. And since I was coming off of a re-aggravated knee injury, this was critical. I'm glad to see her moving, but she needs to also take care of her Diet, 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 diet will make her feel a lot better and will help her move a lot better. And when she does these exercises and tries to run, she will feel so much better. She will have a lot more energy. And if you guys saw, even when she's just, even when she is just talking to us, just standing there, she could barely breathe. She is struggling and it's really sad to see. Well, everyone, please give this video a thumbs up. I'm gonna go and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Goodbye.